one. Please welcome. Yeah. Team Gauntlet, the champions, Richards and Miller, will be the sixth and final leg of this gauntlet. Five potential challengers, Ethan Sharp, and someone will fight their way through this gauntlet and be the last team standing at the end. But the luck of the draw being very unlucky oh. for the Killbillies. Hello, folks. And we have been joined now by the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions right here. I guess they're going to, uh, I guess they're going to hang out and, and perhaps, uh, perhaps join us here in the booth. <laughs> you do that? That is not a valid wrestling maneuver whatsoever. I, the, the champion, I, I finally got the champions to take a seat and calm down. Champions in my ear the entire opening moments of this thing here. It's probably the closest you'll ever get. <laughs> well, we're seeing the constant Ethan Sharp. Oh, God, he caught him. Oh, my. I was about to say, we're seeing the constant struggle between the Killbillies. Evan Banks loves to have a good time, loves to joke around, and Eric Andrews perpetually is telling his partner to be serious. Oh, that was pretty serious. That felt pretty serious to me, Ethan Sharp. I, I, I think I felt it sitting here. Huge leg drop from Donnie Dollars. Oh, boy, Biggs! Woo! That's going to be it right there! They're going to beat the Killbillies in record time! Biggs! Needs to go for the cover right here. Ethan Someone Sharp. may need to get a spatula for Evan Banks. He looks like he's stuck there pretty hard. Was that a mistake there by the relatively inexperienced Aaron Biggs after that big splash? And he had covered the man right there. He absolutely should have covered him. I mean, all that mass just driving down on you like that, I mean, that could knock you unconscious. Has this guy ever been in a fight? Like, why are you commentating? Sir, I was in the CWF Rumble. You were there, remember? You saved me from getting thrown out by uh, Rob McBride. Yeah, I saved you. Dave, you got 50 bucks? I have it, but that doesn't mean you can have it. Biggs and Banks slugging it out in the ring here. Banks is on Dream Street. He got his guts crushed out pretty early here in this in this gauntlet match. And uh, very important, your stamina is going to be very important, Ethan Sharp, as this thing goes on. And uh, Nick Richards over my shoulder alluded to that a second ago, uh, questioning if Dollars and Biggs have got the stamina to beat a cover here, too. Questioning if Dollars and Biggs have got the stamina to beat five teams if necessary. Well, if they want those tag team championships, they better earn the stamina pretty quickly. Fair point. 
Nine dollars firing away on Evan Banks here. Right in. We've got five potential challengers that are lined up here in this tag team gauntlet. Oh boy! Oh, oh gosh! I would not want that to happen to me. That's Jason a... Miller does not like the look on Jason Miller's face says he does not want that to happen to him either. Yeah, this is definitely turning into a rough night at the office for Evan Banks. Now, this is very important because if they wear down the Killbillies, then this is a situation where the Killbillies, even if they can slip one by these two big monsters, cover from Banks, hold on, even if they slip one by these two big monsters, are the Killbillies going to have uh, the endurance? Are they going to have it left in the tank, so to speak, to continue on in this gauntlet? Well, they've been tag champions before, so that, that leads one to believe that they have what it takes to go there again. Oh, he went for the Fez press on Banks! and he got caught. He went for the Fez press on Biggs and he got caught. He, he wants him to put him down. I don't think he gets how this works somehow. Oh, God! He got the Fez press, but Andrews got the knee trampler. Andrews is legal. Hold on. It's broken down already here. Dollars is going for that pump handle. Richards has felt it many times. Rolling reverse to got him. Dollars and Biggs are out, but Banks just got crushed. Uh oh. Oh, speaking of oh, bad, oh, oh, oh God. Speaking oh. of bad luck of the draw. Speaking of bad luck of the draw, Mecca and McAllister are in, and it's a fight with the Killbillies. Ethan Sharp, these guys pretty much brought the 30-man rumble to a halt when these four men and the champions brought all over the building, and it took everyone around basically to pull them apart. No question about it. Although, on a brighter note, it did at least lead to me having plenty of time to speak to these wonderful CWF fans as I was making my way to the ring for the CWF. Rumble. Be that as it may, the fight is on here. Mecca and McAllister against the Killbillies, and they have got Eric Andrews isolated in that corner. This is what I talked about a few moments ago, Ethan Sharp. Banks got his guts crushed out by Aaron Biggs, and now he is unable to help his partner. Yes, that, that's, that's definitely going to play a big part in this because now Eric Andrews is wrestling by himself for the time being. He absolutely is. Banks is just now coming up on that side of the ring, and Dangerous E. Corey Edsel is still snooping around as well. Edsel, oh no, Edsel got decked by Banks. Banks is going back in. Banks is going back in on Mecca and McAllister. Referee has lost all control. This plenty, is pretty much a Texas Tornado match. Plenty of heart by Evan Banks, but I don't know how smart it is to just rush a man of uh, Mecca mercenary size. No, you're 100% right. Roll in reverse once again. It worked for Andrews earlier. Oh! Edsel got the punch. Edsel just caught Eric Andrews with the punch on the far him. side. He punched him with that loaded up fist. Cover two. Got him. Kill Billies are out. They are flying through teams in this gauntlet match. And now, now we see Smith and Weston just taking the fight straight to uh, Mecha Mercenary and Michael McAllister. Big, big elbow smash. Very interesting to note here. Cover Smith and Weston on the, two weeks ago. Richards and Miller put out an open challenge to defend the tag team championship. Oh God. Yeah, we may have a fight here in front of us. Killbillies and the champions are right here in sirs, front of us. Sirs, yeah, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Killbillies and the champs are right here in front of us. Eyes on the ring. We got business. A couple of weeks back, Richards and Miller dished out an open challenge to defend the belt. Smith and Weston were the first ones to take them up on that challenge. Really, it was their match. In essence, that the Killbillies and Mecca and McAllister all intruded upon. It became a four-way match for the championships. How many people did we leave? We beat like six people. They did, in fact, beat six people. They beat three teams to uh, hold on to their titles on that night. Tonight, gentlemen, you will only have to beat one team. The uh, the champion's benefit of getting the very last slot in this gauntlet. Payday. Another Saturday night. Cash Mm. Mecca is dominant. Mecca and McAllister want this shot at the champions. Mecca is crushing, absolutely crushing. Smith Garrett, cover two. 
Smith Garrett showed a lot of heart there. He got that big man on him three or four times, and when McAllister made that cover, he still got out, Ethan Sharp. You know, I have a I have a point that I need to make just out of curiosity. You don't happen to see that that thing that usually falls around uh, Mac and McAllister, do you? Corey Hensel? No, no, the other thing. The, oh, the, sis. the really scary thing. The one that almost killed you in the rumble. I forgot about that. No. Good she Lord, did. big drop kick from West. She beat you like you stole something. Cover! Now, Two. quite frankly, sir, I don't know what you saw, but what that did not happen. I did not get murdered by her, thank you. No, it was near. It was close. Liked it. Well, no, why would I like something like that, especially something that didn't happen? Oh, we talking about the freak that, like, cannonball me? Big clothesline yeah, from McAllister. You know we really need to get that thing, like, taken care of. I'm going to tell her you called her a thing. No, that's, I'm going to tell her you not, called her a thing. It is absolutely not necessary that you, you, you tell her that. I don't know if she even understands English anyway. I bet she understands pretty good. Mecca is back in, and Mecca has been so dominant in this thing. It is worth noting the very first man to ever knock the Mecca mercenary off his feet and the very first man to ever pin Mecca 1-2-3 is one half of the tag team champions, Jason Miller. Oh, drop kick, got nothing. Oh, God, he just took Weston's head death. off his shoulders. Just straight up death. Just took Weston's head off cover Two. only two. Can you place bets? I'm not I, really I much a, of a gambling man. Like I wouldn't make a bet with Richards. He no, don't have much collateral. Season, that's true, that's true. He don't have a lot of collateral. 50 bucks on Mech and Mike. That's all I'm saying. So you are saying that that's who you want to defend the belt against is Mech and McAllister? I'm saying that I've fought him before. Oh, I've Pele kick! kick. Weston has created an opening with that Pele kick. He needs to get that tag. He needs to bring Smith Garrett in this match as soon as possible. Oh, Edsel just took Smith Garrett off the apron. I don't know if they saw it or not. Edsel just absolutely took Smith Garrett off the apron. Weston was going for the tag. There was no one there to tag. And the big What's man is back in. Here? Good Lord, went right into him. Crushed him to the canvas. Cover, one, two, and they got him. Mecca and McAllister are dominating this. Well. Wait a minute, the Brutes are in. Big Mark James and Jimmy Parker, the Brutes. Wasting no time. Now hold on, we want to talk about the luck of the draw. The Brutes have gotten the best draw. And they've got McAllister isolated, boom! Sliding clothesline, two. Oh, only a count of two. This would be the worst case scenario for the champions because they are the freshest team in this gauntlet. Very true. He just said it. Richards just said it. They want Mecca and McAllister. Edsel is back up. Wait, here comes Smith and Weston. And they're getting Edsel down off the apron. Edsel went for the, 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 the punch, that big knockout again. Did not get it. Now we got a fight on the floor. And Mecca goes out. Good Lord! I don't see the champs rushing to get in in that fight on the floor. Well, why should they? I mean, their business is with whoever wins between Mecca and McAllister and the Brutes. Wait, the Killbillies are back out on that far side! Edsel gets speared off the apron! Good Lord, it's a, it's a six-man brawl on the floor! Oh, they got McAllister. Boom! Mm. Oh, God! Just drilled him! Two! Go. The Brutes have won it! Titles are on the line right now. Good Lord. RKO on Mark James. That was the best thinking he could possibly do. Good Lord, they're fighting right in front of him. Hey, hey do you mind, folks? I'm, I'm trying to call a, a show here. That RKO on Mark James was the smartest thing Richards has ever done in his life. Ooh. Double team guard buster. They're on top of Parker. Two. Oh, Parker's too big. Parker is too strong. Ethan Sharp, this is exactly what I talked about. This is the worst case scenario for the champions because now they must defend the belts against the freshest team in this gauntlet. The Brutes went for Mecca and McAllister. In all the chaos and the carnage, they were able to put them away very quickly. Oh, God. And now the freshest team in this match is the ones that are challenging the champions. If, if Richards and Miller are smart, they will not give the Brutes a chance to breathe. You're absolutely right. They have got to stay on them, as my mother would say, like white on rice. Cover two. 
only got two. They have done a great job already. Mark James is still down on the floor, and I believe if we can get a close-up of it, I believe that Jimmy Parker is busted open in the mouth. But oh, 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 the Ooh, break. He's about to get split open in the back oh, in some oh, places. Oh, God, the back rake. Ah, he licked him. He, he, he always does that, and it never ceases to disgust me. Richards is showing his toughness here, keeping Mark James out. Oh, boy. Parker, big suplex. This is the Brutes. Oh, but look here. Parker got free, and Mark James was not there to make the tag, thanks to Richards and Miller. The champions are working so well together as a team. Wrestling Parker down. Mark James and Jimmy Parker have both been in CWF Mid-Atlantic before, before they formed this team that has been dominating all up and down the coast. This is their first appearance as a duo in CWF Mid-Atlantic. And that proves interesting, really, because this is a team that obviously Miller and Richards have had no real time to prepare for. Well, you would think that, but years ago, years ago, Miller and Mark James were a tag team, so they do know each other. The, the X factor here is absolutely Jimmy Parker. Parker's the one that they've encountered the least. Mm. And look at Richards once again taking Mark James off the buckle, off the corner. The best thing they can do right now is just make sure that the Brutes do not make any tags. Yeah, absolutely. The way that they came in and just, just pr pretty much put McAllister down, Dick Slater elbow, they showed how well they worked together as a team. The champions are wrestling, I can't believe I'm saying this, cover two. I can't believe I'm saying this, the champions are wrestling a very small match here. It is pretty incredible to see, but I think sometimes just based off the way they dress and act that we underestimate the actual skill that Jason Miller and Nick Richards actually possess. Absolutely. I've speculated before that that's the idea. Oh, God. Double clothesline. No, Richards avoided it. Richards, oh, thumbed him right in the eye. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's exactly what the Richards and Miller did not need. I don't think Miller realizes it. Oh, kitchen sink. Oh, right in the face. The Brutes have come here tonight to win the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team titles. In the buckle. Again in the buckle. Woo, big Ooh. boot. Cover on Miller here. Hold on. One, two. No. Ethan. I, I, I gotta ask, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, we saw Ethan Case make his, we saw Ethan Case make his CWF Mid-Atlantic debut. He shocked everybody and knocked out Lance Lou to win the Ultra J Championship. Are we gonna see a repeat of that tonight? Are the Brutes gonna win the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team titles in their very first night as a team here in CWF Mid-Atlantic? Is it gonna be two shocking title changes in a row here? It's certainly possible if the Brutes keep Keep up this level of offense, they might very well win this match. And by oh, the way, he went low. Oh, DDT! Right the referee's back. Spiked Mark James on his head, and they got him. I cannot believe the champions have survived. I cannot believe it, but the champions have survived an absolute fight, and they're still fighting. Now that's just being a sore loser right there. Be that as it may, Richards and Miller are still the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions. Still the CWF Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions.